What's up guys? On today's episode of Fixing Up the Evo, we are gonna be removing the vinyl wrap from the roof. So I got it wrapped black, gloss black, and I'll show you guys why I'm gonna pull it off. See all this pitting right here? Hope you guys can see that. It's all over this whole side of the roof right here. So I'm gonna be removing this vinyl wrap, and then after I get the car detailed, I'm gonna re-wrap this roof. As you can see, coming up through here, it's not done properly. It's peeling, there's a bunch of white through here. So today we're gonna pull that vinyl wrap off. Let's go run to the shop, see if there's any space in there so I can work. Hopefully there is. If not, I'll make some. So the shop is currently full of cars. I'm not, I don't wanna pull anything out. And I'm thinking because this is sitting on the sun, the heat from the sun baking onto the black will be warm enough to peel the vinyl off. So how you typically do it, grab a heat gun, heat up the vinyl, and it'll peel right off. This has been on the car for about a year now. So I'm hoping it's not gonna leave too much glue behind. I have a feeling it'll leave a little bit of glue behind, but let's start trying to peel it up, see what happens. As you can see, it's starting to peel off just fine. So it's pretty warm outside right now. It's about 70 degrees-ish. Maybe not quite that warm, but it is peeling off just fine. So like I said, if it was not in the sun right now, hope you guys can hear me fine, it's pretty windy. But if it was not in the sun right now, I'd be in the shop with the heat gun on this. So far, it's not leaving behind any glue residue at all. The main reason why you wanna use heat is so it doesn't crack. As you can see, this isn't cracking at all, it's just peeling right up off here. Kinda sad, kinda sad I finally have to peel this roof wrap off. But it's gonna be redone, it's gonna be redone right this time. And it's gonna look a lot better. I'm just gonna set the camera up, run a quick little time lapse, and then I'll talk to you guys after. As you guys can see right here, there's still some glue on the roof from the vinyl when I peeled it off just a little bit in places. So what I'm gonna use to get that glue off is this here. This is Goo Gone. Very, very good for getting that kind of stuff off. So all you gotta do, grab a little bit of that, throw it on a rag, wipe that glue off and it should come right off. If that doesn't take it off, we'll move to something a little stronger, such as lacquer thinner, or probably not lacquer thinner, I'd probably use acetone. Um, but I'm pretty sure the Goo Gone's gonna take it right off. Let's give it a shot. As you guys can see, it takes a little bit of love, a little bit of uh, rubbing to get this glue off, but this is so safe. It's just never gonna damage the paint whatsoever. We can always move to something a little stronger, like I was saying, like acetone. This is acetone here. This is working quite a bit faster. As you guys can see, I decided to step it up to acetone and it peels it right off. Goo Gone will work fine though. I'm just kind of in a hurry, so I wanna get this thing done. Acetone's not gonna harm the paint either. I will be re-wrapping this roof, pretty sure. What do you guys think? Do you like it better white or black? I think it looks a lot better black, personally. I want you guys to go down in the comment section below, let me know what you think. I wanna know your opinions, as always. I love hearing, hearing from you guys, so go down, comment below, either if you like it white or if you like it black. If the majority of people say they like it better black, I will be re-wrapping it myself, and I'll, I'll do a full tutorial on it for you guys. After you guys are done getting all of the glue off with either the acetone or the Goo Gone, I'd highly recommend using a clay bar kit. Let me go show you what that looks like. So this here is the Meguiar's Smooth Surface Clay Bar Kit. I might as well throw this down below, so go check the link or the description box below. I'll have one of these down there. Um, all this does is just pull off anything you missed and it just cleans up the paint a lot. So I'd highly suggest doing this. I'm not gonna do it right now. I'll be fully detailing the car here in a bit, so no need to do this right now because I can always do that later on. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. Really help. Really hope it helped you out. If it did, hit that subscribe button right up in that corner up there, top left corner. I want to see some comments down below, either if you like the white roof better or the black roof. And if you have any other comments or questions, drop them down below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the upcoming video when I fully detail this car. I'm actually gonna be doing that today. It'll be a separate video. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be a very interesting video. I'll show you the ins and outs of buffing and detailing a car. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.